Hello champions, welcome back. This is section 2 of our course module Git Fundamentals and over here we are going to discuss about Git download and setup. The main agenda with respect to the section 2, it will be downloading the Git and install it. Then we are going to create an account onto GitHub. Third, we are going to create certain repos and pushing those repos in onto the GitHub. So without wasting any time, let's proceed with installation of Git onto the Windows environment. So I have mentioned the steps which are required in order to download Git on your Windows machine and complete the setup process. So I have mentioned a thread over here. You just need to click onto this particular thread and move with these particular steps. Let me click onto this. So once I click onto this particular thread, then it is opening git-scm.com. Now onto this particular website, we are able to see downloads. Huh? Downloads is there. Let me click onto the download and then it is asking for like for which operating system you are trying to download. Is it Mac, Windows or Linux? So I'm um, having the Windows machine. So let me click onto the Windows and it is 64 bit for uh, 64 bit machine. So like I'm going to install for 64 bit installer. So let me click onto this. It is going to download a particular file and let me save this particular file into softwares. You can save it anywhere. Okay. So it has been downloaded. It will take some time and then you need to open that particular folder which you have given for downloading this particular file and now you need to proceed with installation so i'm just clicking on to this particular file and run as ad administrator it is asking do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device so yes git for windows And then you need to proceed with normal installation process. You just need to click next. Okay, select component. So I'm moving with the default components. Next. Then get. Next. Choosing the default editor used by git. Okay, that is fine. Uh, adjusting the name of the initial branch in new repos so let git decide so i'm moving with uh, like maximum uh, the default stuff next use bundled open ssh that is fine so post selecting the default uh, options then you need to click on to the next and uh, the installation will be started on your machine it will take some time and once the installation is, is done then you will be able to have it uh. So let me click on to finish. Now the git has been installed in our machine. Now what we need to do, you need to validate the installation. Is it happened correctly or not? For that you need to go into the command prompt. So inside the search bar, you just need to type git bash and click on to the git bash 
once it is opened then we can increase the font size for this and you just need to type the command git hyphen hyphen version so what we are able to see git version 2.4 1.0.windows.one so this particular git version has been installed in our machine so we have done the git installation correctly and we have done the verification as well onto the command prompt that's it for this particular session and in the next session we are going to create account on git and then we are going to utilize it thank you